So let's uh, go ahead and understand the first type of derivatives which is a forward contract. So here is the definition of forward contract. A forward contract is a non-standardized contract since it is customized in nature and is a non-marketable also which, uh, which is an agreement between two parties to buy or sell an asset at a specified future date at a price agreed today. That means you agree for the price today you, uh, that uh, what price you are going to buy or sell in future and you agree also on the date where this transaction is going to take place. So this is basically to help to protect myself from the future uh, price movement of the asset, the risk that the uh, prices would be moving, it could be in my favor or it could be against my, uh, can, can give me a loss. So to secure myself, the, I, I take up a position today and I secure myself, hence I entered into a forward contract with another party. So please uh, understand that this kind of contract is over the counter Hence, it poses a lot of counterparty risk. And again, I cannot do away with this contract since this is non-marketable. And there could be terms and conditions which can act in my favor or go against me since it is a non-standard contract. It is a customized where terms and conditions have been entered by both the parties. Let's take an example how forward contract works. So there are two parties, let's say A and B where the current price of the share is 100 so and A wants to buy A has to buy the shares after 6 months and B wants to sell the shares after 6 months so they both agree to enter into a contract uh, where the agreed price is rupees 104 that after 6 months A will be buying it from B uh, this particular shares at 104 let's say after 6 months the price turns out to be 110 in this case the if the price is 110, that means A has A is profitable since he instead of buying the shares at 110, he can get the share at 104. So here A is straight away making a profit of uh, 6 rupees. Similarly for B, since 100 was the price of the share when they entered into a contract and right now B is selling the shares at 104. So definitely B is also making money that is 4 rupees per 4 rupees for this entire asset but there is also an opportunity lost by B where he could have earned rupees 10 instead of rupees 4 as a profit if he would not enter into this contract and would have sold his share uh, to the market rather than uh, to A by entering into this forward contract. But anyways, B did hedge its risk uh, in the current duration uh, when, they, when he entered into a contract because you never know what would be the price of this share after 6 months. So there is a, uh, one opportunity loss but overall by entering into this contract, both A and B are profitable. In the next video, we will see what do you mean by swaps.